awesome YouTube. So right now we're at the MCW Shane Shamrock Cup 18, which is like the biggest MCW wrestling tournament, biggest wrestling tournament in Maryland as we know it. Also Mark Henry's here, also Summer Rae is here, also it's the return of Rosa Mendes to the wrestling ring. That event actually just ended, but this started the video, so enjoy. I'm explaining what Shane Shamrock is, who he is, why this tournament's going on. You guys are really gonna enjoy it. Talk to me. You're saying Hi that Grim's better than me? Yeah, go ahead. Hi guys. I like M Muscle Mount Malcolm. He's my best YouTuber. Wait, did you just say that Grim's better than me earlier? I remember that. I remember that. You said, oh, Malcolm fears Grim or Grim fears Malcolm. Yeah. Where's that? Where's that, man? He really is. He isn't, though. But you better than Brandon. Of course I'm better than Brandon. Everyone's better than Brandon. But Grim, I beat him. Brandon, I beat him twice. I'm better than both of them. Exactly, exactly. You know, he already knows. So what you guys say? What's up, man? How's it going, man? Nice to meet you, man. Nice mask. I like that. I like that. It looks cool. Are you guys excited for Bruce to win the WWE Championship? Yes, yes, yes. I know you are. All you guys are. Of course, this is Rusev Day. have been waiting 19 Rusev years. Exactly. See? You know. When AJ Styles doesn't stay, the WWE World I don't like this kid anymore.
so this part of the video I want to talk about exactly what the Shane Shamrock Memorial Cup event really is about in the background of the actual event. So this event is actually dedicated to former MCW wrestler Shane Shamrock, whose real name is Brian Hauser, who was the first ever MCW light heavyweight champion. And he's also dubbed with the nickname of the lifetime MCW light heavyweight champion. Because only after 63 days of him holding the championship, winning it on July 19, 1998, Hauser or Shane Shamrock was actually unfortunately shot by police during an altercation. So later in 1998, on September 20th, the title was actually vacated and retired all at the same time, making him the first and only light heavyweight champion of MCW Pro Wrestling. The following year on July 8th, 1999, which is actually, that's my birthday. I was, I was born the same day as that. That was the first ever MCW Shane Shamrock Memorial Cup event. Essentially how it goes, I don't know if they did that then, but I know now it's a two day event. Within the first night, they take 12 wrestlers and they all have qualifying matches. And then those six wrestlers who win their qualifying matches go to elimination match in the main event. And that would be the new winner of the MCW Shane Shamrock Memorial Cup. And on July 8th, 1999, former TNA star Christian York was actually the first ever winner. Now this event will continue for a few more years, I believe until like 2003. An uprising independent promotion, I think you guys might have heard of it before. It's called a uh, Ring of Honor because they were originally based out of Baltimore, Maryland. They were given the right to, you know, do the actual Memorial Cup event for their promotion. But due to a lot of controversy at the time with the owner of Ring of Honor, who actually had to step down, the promotion would then have to relocate to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and it had to change up the entire name of the event itself, no longer being associated with MCW or the owners of MCW. And the new Shane Shamrock Memorial Cup event was actually dubbed Ring of Honor Survival of the Fittest, which I know you guys have probably heard of before. But only a few years later in 2006, MCW would reopen their doors and they would bring back the Shane Shamrock Memorial Cup event, where CZW star Ruckus would actually win the event, also winning the new MCW. CW Cruiserweight Championship. Now, as years go on, it's basically been the same format each and every year so far. You have 12 matches one night, they qualify, next night they have a main event, and that's essentially a six-man elimination match. With the likes of Christian York actually winning the event for this third time, as well as future winners of the 2013 event, independent star Luke Hawks. In 2011, former WWE NXT star, Luke Underground star, and Impact wrestler right now, Sammy Callahan. And also in 2012, I think some of you guys might know, he, he won the Memorial Cup also. <sighs> What's his name? Also in the years of 2015 and 2016, the same person won the cup, that being current WWE 205 Live star Leo Rush. And that doesn't take away from the people that's actually competing in this event before, because there's been a lot of really big names. Big independent wrestling names, also current MLW and Impact Wrestling star Rich Swan, And also some guy you guys may know, I think he's like the, the NXT champion, Tommaso Ciampa. And that leads us today in 2018. So this is where I show you guys the actual match, the good stuff. Who knows who might be in this match that might just be a future star in the making. So watch carefully, because you never know who might just be the next big star.
from the mother of Brian Shane Shamrock Hauser, Miss Sharon Hauser. I want to personally thank each and every one of you for every year that you've come. My only child will be gone 20 years, August the 18th. And this, all of you, are family. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a few words from the son of the fallen Brian, Shane Shamrock Hauser. First of all, once again, I'd like to congratulate Joe Keyes on winning. And I know for a fact that my father is looking down at right now and smiling because he's looking at the man who's holding that title with pride. Joe Keyes. But yeah, guys, this video, if you really enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, share, or subscribe, and we out.